subscribe. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. I am going on another road trip, so <laughs> I know that's really all I do on this channel, but it's all, all I like to do. It's like so much fun. I always meet new people, go on awesome adventures. I always capture really cool clips and I always get to see some really cool places. So I'm very grateful, very thankful for the ability to uh, be able to travel like this and go on trips and do all these things. And I hope that inspires you guys to go out and do what you want to do and enjoy your life and have fun, see new places and, and get out there in the world. I got gifted a free guided cow elk hunt at Outfitters, which is an insane hunting ranch in Eastern Oregon. And um, we're gonna go out there and hang out with all those dudes. We're gonna be in the mountains at a sick cabin, sick ranch, and there's so many elk on, these, on this property. So all I have to do is pay for the gas in my food and buy a hunting license and pay for the tag, which is gonna be like less than $100. So I'm very excited. I haven't seen a lot of my family in a long time and I'm going out with my brother and my nephew. And also I get to go visit my mom and my sister and my other nephews. So I'm gonna make one big loop all the way to Oregon, to Washington, to Montana and back. Don't know how long I'm gonna be gone, but um, yeah, I'm not even worried about it. We're just gonna go out and maybe even make some money while we're on the road, so that's gonna help with the trip costs, and uh, I'm excited. We're, I'm just packing up my stuff right now, and uh, me and Drake are getting ready to hit the road to Eastern Oregon, so we're not gonna get in. It's already like 1.30. I'm getting a late start today, but um, we're gonna get there at like 9.30 probably. It's gonna be a sick video. Super excited, let's get into this one. Alright guys, so we made it to Oregon. We ended up driving uh, eight and a half hours yesterday. It was a long drive and I didn't get in until like 11 o'clock last night. I decided it was only right to come out to my sick little camping view spot right here by the river. So even though it was late, I still wanted a cool place to wake up to. So we're out here at the Columbia River and we got a parking spot right on the edge of the cliff looking over the whole river. It's really, really sick. So this is one of my favorite camping spots out here. Anyways, it's a new day. We're gonna go visit family and friends, catch up with everybody, have a great time. Yeah, we're gonna just uh, make the most of it, go uh, visit as many of you guys as I, as I possibly can. Um, and yeah, so we're just chilling, about to make some breakfast out here with this amazing view. And we're gonna keep the good times rolling, baby. All right, guys, we're on the next adventure. Um, went and visited a bunch of family, and it's 99 degrees today, so we decided to head out to the river. And now we're about to do a little clip session and get a couple clips, so stay tuned. All right, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube yet, you're slacking, chance trades, get a clue, check it. Get a clue, let's go, baby. All right guys, quick little update on the trip. We're out here at my brother's house and we are getting everything packed up and getting ready to head up to the mountains. We're going up on a guided elk hunt. I'm um, actually just filling in for a family friend. He, uh, he, he couldn't make it, he hurt his back, so he offered to pay for uh, my tag and everything. So we're gonna go up and stay at this hunting lodge and go out and hopefully kill three elk. So it should be a really fun time. I'm very, very excited to get up there. This is gonna be, you know, 
uh, a pretty memorable event. I'm going with just my older brother and my nephew, so we're gonna have some good times and hopefully uh, bring back some, some fresh meat with us back to Utah, so that's kind of the goal. So yeah, we're getting packed up right now. We're gonna get everything loaded up in the truck and then uh, head up to the mountains. I'm staying two nights up there. Coming back down, we're gonna have some processing to do um, if we kill some elk, which we're planning on doing. It's gonna be a long trip. It's really fun though. I'm super stoked to be on the road and just having a good time making videos for you guys. Uh, something I really enjoy and, and it gives me a lot of peace and happiness. So I'm very excited to go out on this elk hunt with my older brother. Um, yesterday, I just got to catch up with a lot of my family and friends that I haven't seen in a long time. So we just uh, didn't film much besides the cliff jump session, had some fun doing that. And then now it's the next day, we're getting ready to go up to the mountains, do some elk hunting for a couple days. So let's get into the adventures. <laughs> to our hunting cabin out here in uh, the mountains of Eastern Oregon. And uh, we have two nights here. There is a bunch of elk out in the area. We have three elk tags we gotta fill. My brother, my nephew, and I all have one. And um, these guys that are taking us out are super cool. They have this awesome ranch up here that has a ton of elk on it. So we're just hanging out, talking right now, and then uh, we're about to get ready, get our stuff on, and then head out for an evening hunt and uh, see what we can do. So stay tuned. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film while we're hunting, but I'm gonna do my best to get some cool footage for you guys and hopefully bring back some meat. So let's get into it. We got one, I think. Definitely hit her. First 30 minutes we were out here. Had a cow come across the hill at about 100 yards. And uh, set the sticks up, got a good shot. Definitely hit her. We waited a little bit. Now we just uh, we found our first blood. So we're gonna, we're gonna start the search and uh, see if we can find her. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we've been searching for blood for about 10 minutes, and we've got some good news. We're gonna go check it out. Oh yeah, she smoked. Woo, let's go. <laughs> Dude, nice. Thank you. We'll get her out here. All right, guys, so very stoked, very excited. We just got her done. Couldn't have been better, honestly, within the first 30 minutes. We had some cows coming over this hillside right here behind me, and one of them popped out. Didn't know we were there, and I just set up a nice shot, 100 yards. Um, was able to get it done. So we're definitely going home with some elk meat, so I'm super excited about that, and uh, let the work begin. We've got to... Uh, drag her on out of here and uh, get her taken care of and dressed out just talked to my brother and i guess um, him and my nephew are into the elk too so hopefully they can get it done tonight but yeah anyways let the work begin all right i knew i smacked her hard didn't know how good of a shot i actually made but i was confident in it um, we didn't find much blood but we didn't honestly have to walk very far um, she only walked like 70 yards from where i got her at so we got her done, um, super excited. Thank you to Chris behind the lens for putting me on one. Now we just gotta get her all dressed out, get her back to camp and then we can uh, celebrate and then uh, get the other guys a couple more. So we got her done. Let's yes, go. she did, good job, man. Yeah, dude. Nice <laughs> job. Heck yeah. Let's go, got her done. <laughs> I come back.
come up here, I hook up with my fucking winch, and my winch has a cable that comes out here in a remote, and I put this motherfucker in four low, and just gave her the fucking mustard, and I'm winching and pulling this fucking three quarter ton diesel the fuck out of there. I got that motherfucker completely out this bitch. Hi guys, today we're day. Oh, okay, I got the next. Oh, come on. Go. Alright, guys, day two. We're gonna go get two more elk, hopefully. Just scattering out on the mountain today, and hopefully, get two more. Let's go. She smoked. She smoked. Nice. Nice, dude. <laughs> you dusted her, dude. That was badass. Let's go, dude. Nice shot, bro. Dude, 5.30 in the morning, barely got started just now, already got one. Good job, bro. Heck yeah. First elk. elk down this morning I went out with uh, my nephew Ryder he got it done in the first 10 minutes literally as soon as the Sun was coming over the hill we spotted some elk and uh, he was able to get it done and the elk didn't run far at all and then we saw a bunch more we were able to get some cool pictures cool videos of some elk then shortly after that my brother busted off a shot and he must have got one too so we're gonna go head over there and help him look for the other elk while these guys back over here uh, get that first one taken care of. But we got three elk on the ground in the last 12 hours. So we, uh, we got what we came for. We're gonna go make sure we can find this other one, get them all cleaned out, and then we're headed back to town. Can I see the shot? Yeah. Ladder shoot a bigger one? Yeah. Bigger than mine? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank yeah, I got we her done. We almost fucked it up. <laughs> wow, we were still sitting pretty. There was another oh, what, yeah. 40 head there. Yeah, at least 40. There was a bunch of elk that started coming up the hill. Yeah, that's what we got. That first little group with all the spikes and shit. Fuck, there was probably 20 spikes up here. Yeah, yeah there was. They yeah, walked right by bulls. us. Yeah, we saw two big bulls. Heck yeah. Pulling the truck right up. Already got one loaded. All right, so we made it back to the cabin, back to back to camp, and we got three elk. Um, all of our elk tags were filled, and we were back to camp at 8:30 this morning. So we got them first thing this morning I got mine last night and then Ryder and Jake got theirs this morning first thing and we had a ton of fun saw some animals 
and now we are skinning out the elk getting them loaded up and in, uh, into the coolers and everything like that and then we're gonna head back to town um, get them uh, hung up and start processing the meat so we have a lot of work to do um, but yeah it was a very successful hunt and I uh, just want to give a big shout out to uh, my brother's dad his name is Scott it sucks he wasn't able to make it um, got hurt but thank you for giving me the tag and um, everything like that hiring me to be your uh, gunman I was uh, successful got the job done and had a ton of fun and we're going home with some elk meat so super stoked on that guys um, hope you guys are enjoying this video after this we're getting ready to head out to Spokane for a couple days and then back to Montana for a couple days before we go back home to Salt Lake so we got some adventuring to do um, super stoked let's get on to the next adventure uh, make sure you like subscribe all that good stuff and we'll see you guys in the next one